Okay, before we get started, let me know in the comments section down below what's a kind of unconventional piece of everyday carry gear that you have that you think is very useful and that other people should know about. So let's get right into this, my full everyday carry. For one, I have my wallet, stuff in there I need. I also have my keys, but I'm not really going to show those because of the information of what vehicle I drive and then um, kind of how the lock is for my house that doesn't really need to be out there. Chances are no one will do anything with it, but I'm going to play it safe. Next is a very underrated piece of gear here. It is a pocket flashlight. This is currently the Streamlight MicroStream USB I got off of Amazon. I will put a link in the description down below. This is a very underrated piece of gear here. It's a pocket flashlight. I currently carry the Streamlight MicroStream USB. I got this a while ago off of Amazon. I'll put a link down below. I've never had any issues with this thing. It's gone through the dishwasher twice. and It's um, been beaten up a good amount. I use this a lot, whether it's at home, I'm at work, it's something I dropped in the car, I'm getting something outside real quick and it's dark. Having this flashlight is very useful. The flashlight on my phone works just fine, but I like this a rather bit more. Next is going to be my pocket knife. This is a Kershaw. I'm not exactly sure which one this is. I am not what you'd call a knife guy. Um, I like to have a knife for my pocket. It's really about it. Uh, I don't know too much about the steel. I don't know anything about how it's manufactured. I know Kershaw's good and I use this primarily to cut open boxes. So other than that, I do find this very useful, mostly just for opening things and cutting tape. But uh, yeah, that's my pocket knife there. Next will be my phone. I have an iPhone. It's really nothing too fancy about this here. It's just the phone that I ended up picking to carry. Um, yeah. Okay, so a very important piece of gear here that I carry every day is going to be my Tier 1 Concealed MSP holster. Uh, I put a lot of time, effort, and research into this thing before getting it. I wanted a holster that's very um, versatile and one I can use for multiple handguns. I like to rotate my handguns because sometimes I want to carry my Glock, sometimes I want to carry my SIG, don't want to carry my M18, don't want to carry my X5 Legion, don't want to carry my Glock 45 or my Glock 17. It just really depends on how I'm feeling because I can shoot proficiently with all of them and this lets me rotate as long as I have my Surefire X300 on all of them. And so far I've been carrying this for a couple of weeks now. I do really like this. I'm very happy with this holster. I generally don't carry with an extra magazine, if you could notice that there's not another one on here. But uh, we'll get into it when I do carry with a separate magazine. It's a little later on in the video. Also, uh, what I carry for a belt, I have the Blue Alpha, just inner EDC belt here. It's just a nice Velcro belt that I can keep on and then adjust as I need it. It's also one that I can put my battle belt over the top if I want to go to the range, do some training, or if I'm just LARPing in, inside my house in my living room. Okay, so probably the main reason that you are here is going to be my firearm. This is my Glock 45 here. As you can see, you got a little bit of bells and whistles on here. Trijicon RMR Type 2 RM06. I have blacked out suppressor height sights here. That way I can co-witness. Um, I have my Surefire X300 U-B. I wanted the thumb screw one. I, I'm not a big fan of the quick attach, quick detach. I have the OEM trigger that's in here. And then I also have a Radiant Ramjet and Afterburner that I recently got that put on here. My buddy let me shoot his and I was a huge fan of it. I really liked it. I liked the way that it felt. I liked the way that, that it helped with the recoil and also the aesthetics looks really nice on it. So thankfully I ended up getting one recently. I have just the factory OEM mag release slide lock and then your takedown here as well. I don't really see a need or want to change any of those. And then I also have a flared mag wheel just to help with that nice, quick, easy reload there. Okay, so for the ammunition I'm carrying, it is the 135 plus P. I think these are spear nuts. I've had these for a while, I'm getting close to in about a month I'm going to um, spend all these and then just rotate some new ammunition. And I've also been looking at the Liberty Munitions, their ultralight, I think it's like 50 grain, right around 2200 feet per second. I've heard pretty good things about those, so I might be looking to make the switch. Uh, for the base plate here, I switched out and got the Terran Tactical base plates. These are the flush fit, doesn't add um, any capacity to the magazine. Some of my other Glock mags, I have the plus two for 19, but for concealed carry, I just keep it right at 17. So that's what I carry every day on an everyday basis, but there are some things I wanted to talk about that are actually situational. 
Okay, so these situational items. Um, as I had said before, I generally don't carry with an extra mag, but sometimes just depending on how things are going, I do or I'll keep an extra one in my bag. And that's gonna be another Glock mag here with the plus two for Terran Tactical for 19 rounds and the T-Rex Arms Iron Side Magazine Carrier. So the nice things with these, what I, if I ever thought I needed an extra mag, say something's going on in the world or in the area, or I just feel like I'm going to a little rough part of town, I will just put this on the back here in the small of the back, put my shirt over it, and you can't even see that it's there. And I got the extra mag on there, doesn't hinder anything kind of in the lower waist as I'm leaning down to grab stuff. And it also gives me that um, added comfort knowing I have more ammunition. For the last thing but not least, uh, this is a non-lethal option. I carry a, a decent bit but not the most. It really depends. If I'm going out somewhere real quick, I generally don't grab it, but if I'm going somewhere where I believe that there's going to be a lot of people, maybe a crowd, I will, and that is going to be pepper spray. I've had arguments with a lot of people that say pepper spray is unnecessary, you shouldn't carry it, why would you carry that, it's stupid. Like many others, I believe that there are situations where you want to defend yourself where lethal force isn't exactly justifiable or the best idea. You know, someone's trying something in a crowd of people, you might not want to start shooting rounds because if you miss and those rounds start skipping, you're gonna hit somebody, you're gonna be liable. So, if I ever need to defend myself from somebody that might not be in a situation where lethal force is considered justifiable, I like to have a non-lethal option because with this, there's significantly less paperwork involved and illegalities, and I can just say, hey, give them a little bit of spicy air and be like, hey, get the fuck away from me. So, that is a nice option to have. You can get these for 12 to 25 bucks. Uh, I don't know which brand this is. I think this is just a basic one. I'm looking to get pick up some Fox pepper spray here soon. But yeah, this is one thing that not a lot of people talk about. I do think is a pretty good idea.